so here we are in this place again right let's get to it so today we're doing something a little more for our kiddos i will be doing a spider-man wall art which originally i was going to create and turn it into a table but i decided this would be pretty cool for a little one to put on their wall in their room uh pop a couple little lights or something on there and then you know go with the flow but right now i am just going to cut out my template for my spider-man in here you can see that i've already pre-drawn where everything should be placed So as I stated before, I was thinking about adding a little pop to this piece. So I thought, well, maybe I can throw in some LED lights and it'll make it, you know, have a little more pizzazz or whatever you want to call it. So myself said, ooh, you got spare wood. How about you use that? And guess what? That's exactly what the I did. I grabbed that spare wood, slapped a little wood glue on it, and placed it in the center. And of course, I gotta do it my way, so I used some candles to hold it down so it can dry overnight, but it still does the job. Now it's time to get that bad boy painted. So we're gonna lay down our base coat. This is just so I can see where everything needs to be placed as far as colors. That way when I go in to start doing my shading, I'll have a better idea on where I need to lay my paint. So I feel like shading is like the best part. It definitely adds dimension, makes your photo pop. It just gives it a whole different type of feel once you see what it looks like, once you add your highlights and your shadows, because then it just turns it from blah to bah, yeah. because everything does not work out how you want it to. So this hand was kicking my A double S, right? And I started to say, you know what, if this thing gonna paint, it took me maybe a whole week to do this because I kept going back and forth and repainting over the same spot because it wasn't giving what I wanted to give and I was just getting annoyed. 
but eventually I was like you know what let's just go with it and what happened is just gonna have to happen Here I'm just applying a black base just to the back to give, um, to take away that white. Cause I don't, I mean, I didn't really care for the white and it goes with the outline around the whole painting. So it just makes everything flow together. But I ended up finishing that hand and the rest of the painting off camera. So when I flip this, it's going to be completely different from where you saw it last. And that is because like I said before, I was getting annoyed and the hand was just not handing for me and I had to figure some shit out. So that's what I did. I attempted to place my LED lights in a different pattern or design, however you want to call it. Um, but as I was laying the LED lights, I saw that it started to buckle when I went to try to curve it. So I was like, well, I guess I'll just stick to what I originally wanted to do and then I'll just double them. So instead of just placing it and cutting, cause originally I was just gonna place it and then just trim the extra. Um, I decided to wrap it around twice. So it'll give uh, two lines versus one. I don't know, just maybe it'll make it a little more bright as far as the light goes. 